We're on to round 25, guys, of the NRL. Are you ready? Because there are only three weeks left to the playoff finals. I am getting very excited. Things are hotting up. So let's get picking round 25 and see how we did in round 24. Well, it was certainly an interesting start to the week because this was a grand final game, wasn't it? Panthers versus Storm. And it was very, very close. Uh, Storm took it at the end. Panthers had the lead and Storm took it at the end. So fair play to them. Still in first and second place, so it's okay. I did, pa pa I did Panthers to win by eight, but actually Storm won by two. So that is the game where I get absolutely nothing. Uh, Storm still top and Panthers still second. No change, but didn't go quite the way I hoped. Really gutted because I was watching and Nathan Cleary going off injured. Don't know if it was a dislocated shoulder or whatnot, but it did not look good. So let's hope he can recover ready for the playoff finals. Next game was Sea Eagles versus Warriors. And I did Sea Eagles by 20. Ah, oh, it's one point off a close score. They won by 14. I was very, very close to a close score. Uh, that is exactly what Sea Eagles needed. That puts them in a in a prime position, three points now ahead of the Dragons. Puts them into a fantastic position to get into the playoff finals. So well done to them. They just probably need one more win, I think, and they are safely through. Not great for Warriors though, who are gone, just gone. Next, Roosters versus Eels. And Eels were blown away this time. They had had a couple of weeks of some decent performances. But coming up against the Roosters, who have been a solid outfit uh, for pretty much all of the season. Um, Roosters, they won by 24. I did them to win by 18. So again, I was one point off that close score. Ugh. Annoying. Very, very annoying. Saturday 17th, we then had a Bulldogs versus Dolphins, and I did a Bulldogs win. I thought it would be a little bit closer. I did Bulldogs to win by eight, but they won by 20. Uh, yeah, I thought it would be closer. Um, Dolphins are still in with a shout of the playoff finals. They, they've just got to get a couple more wins, probably, and Bulldogs should now be pretty much cemented in the top eight. So well done to them. I get one point for the result. Then Cowboys versus Raiders. Uh, Cowboys, well, they just demolished them. Raiders have had a couple of good performances recently, but this was against a decent Cowboys outfit as well. Uh, I did Cowboys to win by 10. They won by 38, so I was nowhere near a close score. Well done, Cowboys. That should be enough as well. Uh, they are now six points clear of ninth place so that should be enough for them one point for the result then west tigers oh yes i got it bang on i was happy about that i just thought west tigers could sneak a win and i was correct i am in the minority here though only 19 percent of you guys went for wests um and bang on yeah 18 16 a very tight game it meant nothing really uh, but one and a half points for me, that, that is probably the best result of the week. No, it is the best result of the week, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Next up on Sunday, Dragons versus Titans. I just thought the Titans could sneak a win, and I was incorrect because Dragons were victorious by 16 points. A, a fairly comfortable win there by, by Dragons, but Titans do score. That's the funny thing. They do score. Um... Season done for Titans and Dragons are in eighth, holding on, holding on to that eighth spot. Then the last game of the week was Sharks versus Knights. I thought it'd be a little bit, bit of more of a gap. Sharks, they won by one point. One point, which is probably gutting for the Knights. Knights really, really could have won, uh, could have done with winning. They're not out yet. But that would have been a massive win for Knights. And they are now in 11th on 18 points, same as Broncos and the Raiders. So gutting for them there. One point for the result. Oh my word, we have a new leader. Hacksaw has been dethroned because Adelaide Bulldog is now top. Moved up three places and 
got the golden hat. Unbelievable. So now is in the lead by basically two and a half points. That is still nothing with the amount of games we've still got to play. Well done, buddy. That is a fantastic job. Hacksaw obviously goes down one. Cool Bejewel. Oh no, Cool Bejewel was top. Cool Bejewel was top. Ignore me. Cool Bejewel has been dethroned. Uh, cool Bejewel has gone down two places. Must not have had a, a great week that to, uh, last week. Kazaraz up three. Brupel down two. Ajubi down one. St. Jai up one. Hazy down two. Ozzy Tash still in ninth. And Otis still in tenth. A <sighs> little bit of movement. This is fascinating stuff. Uh, the top ten. I think the top ten is now probably the top ten. Um, and there is about seven and a half points separating first and tenth. So it is still all to play for. One bad week. Adelaide Bulldog goes, bosh, down you go. Very, very tight. Let's see any other movers. Uh, WM Footy down three. Elmsy up two. I am down one. I didn't think it was that bad a week. I'm down one to 19th. I want to stay in the top 20 at least. Um, Dave and Oz up three. Stephen J. Will down three. The Wooden Spoon down two is Arlo. Uh, unlucky, buddy. Any other big movers? Down four is Midori and K-Power. And that is the real movers for this week. Okay, round 25 starts on Thursday 22nd at the Leichhardt Oval in Sydney. West Tigers versus Seagulls. I feel that this game is going to cement Eagles in the top eight. Uh, they win this and it's going to be pretty difficult for, for the teams below them to overtake them. Now, obviously, Wests, they, they won last week, but it was against a Rabbitohs team who have been awful bar a few games mid-season. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I just think, considering how well Manly played against the Warriors last week, I just, that's it. Playoffs are there for them. That, it is there for them. It's theirs to throw away now, isn't it? So I can only see an Eagles win, and it should be a confident win. I'm going to do an Eagles win by 18. Three clear goals, tries, and conversions. I'm, I'm mixing up sports now. Should be a competent win for them all day long. Next up, Friday 23rd at Go Media Stadium is Warriors versus Bulldogs. I think this is another game. Bulldogs are now going to cement their place uh, in the playoff finals. Warriors, yeah, they were disappointing. They were disappointing. They are pretty much out of it now. They really needed a result last week to try and stay in it. And I think that's done. I think it's done. I think it doesn't bode well for their game against Bulldogs, who have been really good. The only positive for Warriors is the fact that Bulldogs are travelling over to New Zealand. But that is it. And even then, I think Bulldogs should be strong enough. Their form is fantastic. Only losing one in the last seven games. So... Yeah, I, I, it's got to be with the momentum team, which is Bulldogs. So I am going to do Bulldogs to win, I think maybe by 10. Yeah, one conversion, uh, sorry, two conversions and one try. I think that's fair, having the fact that they're traveling away, but they should win. Then Suncorp Stadium sees Broncos versus the Eels. Eels should not win. The, the amazing thing is Broncos still have a chance. They have been so disappointing this year, Broncos. They really have. Um, you know, you thought losing last year's grand final would still give them that momentum, that little spur of energy to, to push them. But every time you see Broncos potentially getting results, potentially seeing some form, they failed. But this is a big big chance here against an, an eel side who is not good enough um so it, yeah this could give them that chance it, it really could win this that would put them in touching distance touching distance of the playoffs with two games to go so i'm gonna go with a broncos win because eels have not been good enough and i'm still living like broncos on paper that means nothing sometimes but broncos to win by 12. Broncos to win by 12. Yeah, I think that's fair. Next up, GIO Stadium 
in Canberra. Raiders versus Panthers. Now, Raiders, technically, they could also see the top eight still, but I don't see it. I think Panthers now, after losing last week, yes, now they don't have Cleary. I assume um, because he did injure his shoulder. And I think that was a tough loss against Storm. But in the grand scheme of things, it probably doesn't make a massive difference. So I think Panthers should come out here and be pissed off. Basically pissed off by losing last week. It could lead to Raiders having a chance. But I think Panthers are going to be ruthless. I really, really do. I think Panthers are going to be ruthless now and grind the gear because they're annoyed. Losing Cleary is gutting. And hopefully it won't be out for too long. Um, but let's hope Panthers now see their way to the playoffs. And then Cleary can come back rested and ready to fight. So I'm going to do Panthers here by 12. It could be tighter not having Cleary, who is a who is a real talisman, let's be honest. Next, Ami Park, Storm versus Dolphins. Storm, they are doing so well. Like, you can't fault them. You know, I, although I'm going for Panthers, you cannot fault Storm. They have been relentless, consistent, and they deserve to be top. No problem with that at all. Um, Storm have now become the best team in the league. After beating Panthers, they have now become the best team in the league, for sure. Um, and it was a real statement victory. That's, that's what it was. Beating Panthers was a statement victory. And Dolphins should not really give them much trouble. Dolphins need this win. They really, really do. But how are they going to beat Storm? How are they going to beat Storm unless Storm decide, yeah, we don't really need to try. We can rest players ready for the finals. But I can't see that. So Storm by 12. And that's assuming Dolphins are going to put up a fight because they need to fight. Um, but they may get another chance, especially if Dragons don't get the result. That gives them that chance for sure. Next up then, Stadium Australia is Rabbitohs versus Knights. Knights also have a very slim chance of making the top eight still. And they should beat a Rabbitohs side who lost to West Tigers. So that says enough. So I don't even need... Do I need to go much into this? Um, Knights need the win. They need the win. So let's go Knights. Knights by 10. Knights by 10 against Rabbitohs. They need that win. Then Sunday 25th at Seabus Super Stadium. Is it super though? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Titans versus Roosters. Roosters on fantastic form still. But actually Titans, they've, they've shown they are capable. Um, now Titans will not make the top eight now. And this is for Roosters just to, just to cement. And actually they could push into the top two here. Um, and I think that's what they'll be trying to look for. This should be a confident win by the Roosters. That's all I've really got. That's all I've really got. Um, Titans have tried, but Roosters will be too strong. A Roosters win by 20. Yeah. And then the last game of the week at Win Stadium, Wollongong. Dragons versus Sharks. Dragons in eighth. They, they really want to hold on to that eighth spot, don't they? I don't necessarily see Dragons getting any higher than eighth. But they only need eighth spot. Um, they're against a Shark team who actually all of a sudden now is is showing what they should be capable of that they failed to do earlier on. Um, yeah, you, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it was a golden point win for Sharks, to be fair. So it wasn't convincing against, against a Knights side who haven't been great. So... Considering that, and the fact Dragons are at home, Dragons to win by four. Dragons to win by four. Oh, interesting. There are certainly interesting matchups still to play for. Uh, and my summary this week, Sea Eagles by 18, Bulldogs by 10, Broncos by 12, Panthers by 12, Storm by 12, Knights by 10, Roosters the biggest win by 20, and Dragons by 4. It is still all to play for, especially that 8th spot. That is the one that I think is still potentially up for grabs. So it is down to the Dragons to try and push away now. Fascinating. And thank you so much once again for joining me each week 
You guys have been amazing. Uh, if anyone can get me tickets to the grand final, then I will come to Australia again for the third year in a row. But let, <laughs> if you can, let me know. Thank you so much. I will catch you next time. Bye.